In the village of Kahe, situated in Moshi area in the northeastern Tanzania, majority of the residents here are smallholder farmers, practicing small-scale crop farming and keeping livestock. Livestock provide food for these families and generate an additional income to cater for other family needs such as education and health care. The number of livestock kept by farmers here can range from two cows to hundreds within a homestead. Moshi vijijin hasa kwenye maeneo ya milimani kama marangu, muika, tunamongelea small scale farmer ana ngombe wawili, watatu, wane, watano. Kwa mfano, maeneo ya kahe na huku kwingine loa moshi, unakuta mkulima na mfugaji ana ngombe hamsini, ana ngombe paka sabini ni mia, lakini ni, ni mfugaji mdogo mdogo. Kwa sasa hivi nafuga kuku na ngombe. Kuku wangu ni kuku wa kienyeji. Nao kuku kama selafiri na kitu. Kuku wanataga. Wanataga vizuri tu. Kwa sababu baada ya siku mbili, napata trei ya maa ya hai. Sana sana mina ishulisha na, na ufugaji wa ngombe. Mbuzi na kuku na nguruwe. Ngombe ni hifuga, napata maziwa. Napata mbolea upeleka mashambani. Alafu pia na kiuza, napata feza za huikimu mahitaji yangu. Na pia ni misumesha tuto kwa sababu ya ufugaji huu. One of the main challenges for these smallholder farmers is lack of access to veterinary health care. As a result, their productivity is low and some of their livestock also die from preventable diseases. Kwenye tafiti zetu pia tuligundua kwamba wafugaji wengine wanapoteza mifugo pale ambapo mifugo inapata shida. Ngombe ameshindwa kuzaa, ni nguruwe anaarisha, kuku ameshusha mabao. Inakuwa ni changamoto kwa wafugaji na ndio kitu hasa kilichokuwa kinarudisha nyuma wafugaji. Changamoto hapa katikati zilipita nyingi. Kama mwaka jana mwaka juzi ngombe ndio walikufa wengi sana. Tokana na ile mafuriko kukuwa kuna maji, kwa hiyo ngombe wakawa nakula kwenye maji wanalala kwenye maji na changamoto huko mabanda watu ya Ezeki. Kwa ngombe wengi walipata ule ugonjwa wa mapafu. Nilikuwa na ngombe kama 40 hivi na ngombe walikufa sana. Hawa kienyeji wakabaki ngombe wanne tu kama hapo unavyoona hapo kwenye bwanda. Due to lack of veterinary personnel in the area, some farmers become desperate and improvise to treat their livestock by themselves. A practice which is dangerous and which can also lead to fatalities. Mi binafsi nimejifunza kutibu mwenyewe. Nimejua kuchoma ngombe sindano na kisia sisi kama ni ngombe mkubwa naanza kumchoma sisi 15 au sisi 10 na angalia kufuatana na umri wa ngombe au kama ni ndama kama ni mdogo sana na nachoma sisi 5. Kama ni ndama ambaye ameshamaliza miezi mitano sita na mchoma sisi 6 7 hivyo hivyo. Na hisa ngine labda nimesahau nimepitiliza ngombe ndama inakufa. Shaban is one of the few aggravate dealers who supply medicines to farmers. Over time, he has come to learn which diseases farmers complain about. Kwa upande wa mifugo, kesi zinazo jitokeza hasa, kuna tukianzia kwa ngombe, mbuzi, kuna kesi kama ECF, diganakari, kuna kesi kama anaprasmosisi, digana baridi, mm -hmm. kuna kesi ya mapafu, kuna kesi ya FMD, foot and mouth disease, ndo kesi zinazo sumbua sana kwa huu. Hakuna maafisa mifugo wa kutosha, wa kumfikia kila mfugaji, moja kwa moja mpaka nyumbani. Kwa huu nakuta mfugaji kitu ambayo to anafanya, ni kuchukua ushauri kutoka kwa mfugaji mwenzie, kuja kuchukua dawa, anachukua maelezo wanaenda kutibu kutokana na maelezo. It is because of these challenges that the Global Alliance for Livestock Veterinary Medicine government has teamed up with local company Milele Animal Health Limited to set up a vibrant distribution mechanism for animal health products including medicine, vaccines and food supplements. Milele has also trained, equipped and deployed a number of animal health workers who can attend to the livestock when needed. Sasa sisi milele tumekuja na hiyo solution 
kwamba daktari wetu atakaa kwenye maeneo husika ya ndani ya ile kata na ili aweze kutoa huduma kwa waraka lakini pia kumuongezea e, ufanisi kwenye kazi yake tumemrahisishia kwa kumpa usafiri wana pikipiki na wana dawa na vifaatiba kwa hiyo hata akipigiwa simu saa sita usiku au saa nane usiku ombe ameshindwa kuzaa au kuna tatizo la ghafla ya mkini ataamka na kwenda kutoa huduma changamoto ni kubwa ni kwamba kumtoa pale alipo na kumleta kufugaji wa kisasa kwa sababu mtu anafuga ngombe mia, anafuga ngombe ishirini, hana maziwa with increased access to veterinary professionals and products these smallholder farmers will become more productive efficient and sustainable ninataraji kwamba kama tukipata daktari wa karibu yani ambaye mawasiliano yako karibu na ambaye po kila unapomhitaji unampata ataweza kutupunguzia adha hii ya 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 ya, ya kukosa madaktari ah mipango yangu nayo nayo tazamia kama nitafanikiwa nataka nibadilishe ufugaji wangu sasa niwe na ufugaji zaidi wa kisasa ambao uta ni gharimu kama ninavyohangaika zaidi sasa hivi maana kama sasa hivi tunahangaika sana kwa mfano ngombe zinazaa hata ngombe kumi. Una kama mazao unapata lita 13, 14. 